night. So we have some updates at the Grand Lake Road, Spar Road, Highway 125 intersection. Uh, removed all of the loops from before since the paving and milling has begun. Uh, still have the old Polara unit. Uh, I'm waiting for some new uh, Y apps uh, buttons by Campbell. Um, and I got two, I got a uh, four Vantage Radius Plus units and one Vantage Radius, uh, I guess, standard. Um, I just have one more to put up for the phase one and six direction. I guess that would be, just gotta do some quick thinking in my head. I don't know what direction it is, but it's okay. Um, yes, yeah, so we got two units. Uh, we got the UPS uh, unit here. Uh, power supply, and then you load them, all that stuff. Uh, right now it's in bypass because I'm just allowing the batteries to charge. Um, I just want to verify that that's working tonight. Uh, there's actually 240 at this panel, so I also have some heaters in the UPS cabinet. Uh, so that just runs on a separate leg since this cabinet draws a decent amount of power. Um, yeah, once I get the new unit, I used to have a shelf mount. But uh, the new one we're getting apparently is rack mount, so we'll uh, interact with the, uh, I guess, the vehicle detectors uh, through the SDLC. So I'm curious about how that works. Um, yeah, so we'll do a little walk around. So we got most of the heads changed. Uh, four and seven is completely done. Two and five is completely done. Uh, just need one more three and eight primary done, and then we need the one and uh, six primaries uh, and some new signs as well, but we'll do that when we get the sensors up. Um, a little bit of banding, new highway lights, I guess there's trenching happening. We'll take a walk around. But right now you should be able to get across with a single button press, but they're also going to be there for the audible uh, signals. Okay, we've got the extended press feature implemented here. So it will all be arrows when we're done. I think it's the last green ball. Countdown timers. So we have a kind of a big uh, displaced left turn here. So we needed a sensor for that one approach. arrows, we got tunnel visors, so you're more likely to look at the, the signal you're supposed to be looking at. So you can see here, uh, the further one will go first. start crossing on that side. And then when this one goes, then you can cross both. And this is a bit of a delay, so you can make it to the median.
three gap shows. We got four first because phase eight is held. Now phase eight should be gapping over. And then we'll end with four and seven. So that's going to go right. We're going to lag with four and seven, but I still get my walk. 
Phase Fleets 2 and 5, so this can carry over into Phase 2. So it's just an additional crossing phase. Legs at that. And then once 2 and 5 come on, then both walks come on, and then we'll hold. In case somebody crosses the other way. switches for one and six on just until the new sensors go up tonight and then everything should be good this is a pretty full cap that we got 14 of the 16 channels in use here then once we have the median pad buttons installed uh, the median buttons are each depending on what side you're crossing we will have different functions uh, which light comes up first etc Yeah, I'll do another little update once the lights are fully completed and the road is paved. There you go.